Hey everyone, it's Ragnar here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be using the worst Super Wall Breaker in Clash history. Yep, have a look at that. That was some weird AI, not really sure why they were doing that, but yes, today's video I'll be using the bowler's big brother, the Super Bowler. It has a 200 damage per second, so almost double the normal bowler, and it has 4 times the HP as well, with 2000 HP as opposed to 500. All of these at a cost of 30 troop space, which pretty much equates to 5 bowlers for one Super Bowler, so is it really worth it? On today's video I'm using this army and I must say those super bullets are pretty strong, very tanky and very strong. On this army I have 4 healers, 1 wizard and 8 super bullets spells. We have 3 rages, 2 jumps, 3 freezes and a poison. In the CC I bring a yeti, a valk and a barb and I like using a blimp and, or a log launcher depending on the base. So let's go to the first attack. So yeah, there was a season reset, so this is on my first day of the Legends League, even though I still have 5500 trophies, so I'm not sure when Supercell is going to be fixing that. But uh, yeah, so I end up finding very interesting bases when it's my first couple of days. So this was the first base that I found, so basically with this army you just want to do a wooden walk or a wooden charge, whatever you want to do over here, I just want to get rid of that scatter shot. And then on one of the sides I put my king with one of the Super Bowlers just to create a little bit of a funnel. Uh, on this occasion I decided to bring the log launcher but you can use the blimp as well as you can see you've got two jumps to move around the base I just wanted to get the log launcher to open up that multi infernal compartment just so that my king could go in there and just continue funneling all my troops towards the town hall now that's not gonna work very nicely everything is just gonna be moving to the right and then they're gonna be stuck with the CC but we've got a poison for the CC We've got the jump so that some of our troops do go to the town hall. That freeze was extremely late, but that's okay. The town hall did go down, which is what we wanted, and we swag one freeze, which is fine. And now we put our royal champion on the right hand side. Since all of our troops are heading that way, I just wanted to reinforce everything with my royal champion. My queen is just getting rid of a few more buildings and damaging the king before she dies. And we still have that final freeze for the single inferno just to make sure that that goes down so now the only issue is that last single inferno however we still have a royal champ ability and uh yeah look at how many super bowlers we've got we've got like all eight i don't know one two three four five um yeah five still left and now we're gonna see something that i've never seen before so we've got the wall breaker We've got the super wall breaker, we've got the queen that loves walls and I think now we've got a new troop that also loves walls and I'll show you in a second. So here I'm looking at how many bullets I still had and then I realized that these two super bullets, they're just hitting that wall. There's nothing there, there's a jump, like I really don't understand why they were hitting those walls I, I, and then suddenly they don't even break it and he's like oh you know something I'm just gonna keep walking like why why were they doing that I'm really not sure if you've had the similar issues just let me know in the description in the comments below and uh, we'll have a laugh but here's the second attack against Sir Gutierrez of uh, Fuerza Delta and uh, we start with the warden walk at 9 o'clock just to get rid of uh, some of the buildings there create a nice little funnel on this occasion as well I'm bringing the log launcher so the same thing warden on one side to create a bit of a funnel king and super bowler on the other side to create the other side of the funnel I want my king to go inside into the first layer of the of that base but he didn't so I just put another super wall breaker there I put the first jump just to make sure that everything goes there and doesn't start walking around I must say super bowlers are very similar to the Valks or to their own bowlers where they get distracted very easily so if you don't have a good funnel if you want to send them all to the center and you don't have a good funnel they're not going to go to to the center so you just need to make sure that the funnel is properly created before you send them in now this is uh, me just trying them as mass bowlers i did try 10 super bowlers nothing else and i was struggling with that like it just wasn't working but when you add the four healers 
it just keeps healing them so much like if you manage to have the healers on your super bullies they almost never die and if you're going against a base that has like multi infernos it's pretty good but even after they die you still have your heroes that can get rid of the remaining bit of the base and that's what we had here we still had like one super bowler alive but doesn't really matter the rest of our heroes ended up killing the rest of the base and this was another triple for us now another thing you can do instead of bringing the two jumps you can just bring one jump you don't have to bring two if you're using the wall wrecker or if you're using the log launcher you don't really need to but uh, the good thing about bringing two is that if you want to use a blimp you can use a blimp now here on this one i can't remember if i used the blimp or not but we did exactly the same thing of uh, having the warden walk at six o'clock just creating that nice bit of funnel as i said before um if you don't create the funnel they're just going to be walking everywhere and they're tanky but they can die very quickly and you want them bunched up so that the healers can keep them alive and the more bunched up they are they just smash everything now the other thing with the super bowl is they got a triple bounce so even if they go towards the town hall they don't really die because it's that triple bounce that hits the town hall so they're far away enough from the poison as long as there's nothing that is drawing them towards the poison they should not be going in there so over here i've got all of them going towards the center put the next rage down the town hall is about to go down but i have to freeze that multi inferno in the town hall just to make sure that my troops don't die now they did end up walking that way because there wasn't anything behind the town hall that they could hit that the bowler would bounce towards the town hall so they had to hit the town hall first so that's why they walked that way but as you can see since the healers were raged up they just kept them alive they've got so much hp the 2000 hp that the poison will not kill them if they're being healed up by the healers now I haven't tried this but maybe you can also just change one of the jumps and put as a heal spell and if you're going to be sending your super bullets into the center uh, where the tank hole is and probably the heal spell should be keeping them alive long enough that they survive the poison. Over here we still have the royal champion with ability and we're going to be able to get rid of the rest of the defenses and that is just clean up and this was another triple with a few super bowlers still alive with the world champion and the warden and yeah th this was a really easy spam so i don't know if this is the new spam feel free to try it i will be leaving a link to the army in the description below so uh, you can click it and you can try it yourself and let me know how you go if you like the video please click the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time with more clash see ya